Hi, my name is Susan Hester, and I want to tell you a little bit about myself. My birthday is March the 1st. I was born in Oklahoma City, and I've lived half my life in Oklahoma and half in Texas before my family moved here to Tennessee um, a little over four years ago. My favorite food is Mexican food. It's the best, the fresh salsa and tacos, all of it's good. Um, then my favorite ice cream is Jamocha Almond Fudge. Sometimes I eat ice cream for supper. My husband is Rod Hester. He is our worship pastor, and we have been married for 36 years. We have four children. Trey is our oldest. Um, he is our youth pastor here at Refuge, and he's married to Kylie, and they have a son, Dean. And then we have a son, Travis, um, who also helps on the worship team sometimes here. And then our wonderful daughters, Bailey and Naomi, who are in our youth group here. So our family enjoys getting together to grill burgers, and Rod is really good at making homemade ice cream, so that's something we enjoy doing. Also, we love going to the Nashville Sounds games. Um, our family is like any other family. We are not perfect. We really have to try in loving each other and being kind to each other at times and forgiving. But I love our family, and the best part of our family is God is in it. And God is working all things together for good in our family, and I'm so grateful for that. So two years ago, um, Rod and I were asked to come to Refuge Church to lead praise and worship. And after the service was over, Bailey came up to me and said she really wanted to go to church here at Refuge. And I was excited about that. Um, so Rod and I talked about it, and here we are. And we also prayed about it as well. We're thrilled to be here. So I want to tell you how I came to know Christ as my Savior I grew up in a very loving, caring Christian home. I am so thankful for my Christian parents who both love the Lord. My mom has passed on um, and she's with the Lord now. Um, nine years ago is when, when she went home to be with the Lord and I miss her like crazy. And my dad is still living, he is 85 and I'm so grateful that my parents took me to church. They read God's word to me. They taught me the importance of prayer and they even taught me the Bible stories. So I, I knew how important God was to them. Uh, whenever I was seven years old, I remember sitting in my room and by myself on my bed and Jesus came and spoke to my heart and said, Susan, you need to be saved. And at that time, I, I agreed. I told the Lord, come live in me, Jesus. I want to be saved. And at that moment, Jesus came to live in me. He forgave my sin. And I'm so thankful that he did and he has never left me. And then at age 11, I was baptized. And it was at that time that God gave me the desire to start reading the Bible, His Word. And He gave me new desires and new goals. He gave me the desire to obey my parents. And I wanted to obey God as well. Okay. So, um, after that time, um, I, there were just some good and some bad times in my life. Um, you know, I was, had a desire to know God, but also was coming into my teenage years and, um, started to make some really poor decisions in relationships with boys. And 
I just kind of wanted to do my own thing. And um, sadly, did not make good decisions. Um, felt a lot of shame and guilt. And um, hung on to some sin for many years. Um, back in the early 90s, Rod and I were... Um, in our early married years, and we had two small children, Trey and Travis. Um, I was really struggling in our marriage um, to be kind and to be truthful with my husband, and um, just was really struggling to honor the Lord in my marriage relationship, and just ha was going through a very low time in our marriage. Um, I contemplated suicide, and um, thank, thank the Lord, I was still going to church, and I was still reading the Bible. Um, I One afternoon, I was sitting on the floor in, right in my music room and listening to some music uh, by Brian Duncan called A Heart Like Mine. And the chorus goes, a heart like mine, how could it be worthy that you'd find a way to redeem this hardened clay? Oh, Father God above, the wonder that you love a heart like mine. And I thought to myself, that's me. I, I, my heart is twisted and broken. And I've gotten so far from the Lord and I say I love my husband, but yet I don't act like I love my husband and I don't treat him with love. And I was angry with God. I was angry with my husband. Um, and the Lord spoke to my heart through that song. And he said, Susan, you're either for me or you're against me. You can't live both lives. And I had sin in my heart and I was still trying to serve the Lord. I was teaching Sunday school and still wanted to serve the Lord, but yet I really wasn't honoring God in my life and in my marriage. So when God said that to me, that either you're for me or you're against me, I, in my mind, I looked up to the Lord and I said, Lord, I am for you. And that is when I reached up my hand to the Lord and I took hold of his hand and I turned my back on my sin and I turned to God and I would totally repented of my sin. And God restored my marriage slowly but surely. And it didn't happen overnight. Um, but God did give me the desire to love my husband and to put my hope fully in the Lord Jesus and focus my attention on Jesus instead of putting too much on my husband. And uh, the verse that God gave me during that time is Proverbs 28, 13. And it says, whoever conceals his sin does not prosper, but whoever confesses and renounces his sin finds mercy. And I'm so thankful that in God's kindness, he came to me in my brokenness and revealed my sin to me. And I repented. I'm so thankful that God helped me repent and gave me the desire to follow Christ. So I determined during that time and since then to trust in the Lord and to put my hope in Him and, and not put my hope in my relationships with people because my hope is in the Lord. Our hope is in the Lord. I find my fulfillment in Christ alone. Thank you so much for watching today and we'd love to hear from you. Just go to refugechurchnashville.com and you can find a contact card on our homepage um, that you can fill out digitally with prayer requests, with decisions that you've made, and even how to contact us. Just leave something in that comment box and we would love to pray with you, connect with you, and get back to you as well. 
Once again, thank you so much for being a part of Refuge Church Nashville. God bless.